easier time running when we can defend and rebound. And so to give up 54 in the paint, as I mentioned, Katie, as well as 15 offensive rebounds, those are all opportunities that we're not getting to get out and run. So, uh, but, you know, I thought in spurts, I thought that second unit uh, played a really good pace. I thought the first unit in the first half, really slow, methodical. Um, we, we have to be a lot cleaner and sharper and play with more pace with that group as well. But uh, again, I just told our team, we'll get to San Francisco tomorrow, we'll watch film, we'll get a practice in. And my hope is come Wednesday night against Golden State, we can find a way to be better across the board. Kind of speaking of pace, uh, to piggyback off that, Bones played as advertised, played aggressive, downhill, fearless. Um, what did you make of his night? I think 8 of 13, 19 points. Yeah, I thought he was, uh, he had a really good night. You know, uh, you know, looking to continue what he did down in San Diego, where he's one of our better players in camp, uh, pushing the ball, attacking. He can get to places on the court that a lot of guys can't. Uh, he's, he's, he finished at a high level tonight as well. Uh, and, and there's so much being thrown at him right now. So you give that young man a lot of credit because uh, it's not just the physical, it's also the mental. And uh, for a young kid coming out of college, uh, you know, I think he's ahead of the curve. And that's really, really exciting to see. And on top of that, he's just a tremendous kid. You know, positive energy every day, wants to learn, wants to get better, accepts coaching. And, uh, you know, I love coaching him. I love working with him. On that note, another bright spot of camp was Bull. How would you evaluate his play tonight and only on the floor? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the, the big thing for Bowl is that, you know, for, for most of his minutes, he really played hard and competed. Uh, you know, that, that's that, that's a starting point for me. He had five block shots. You know, I think he could have had a few more, to be quite honest. I mean, but utilizing that God-given length and, and wingspan and athleticism uh, to his advantage and also to our advantage. Um, so, you know, I, it was good. Four for seven. I think uh, he got two threes up. Uh, just a lot of really good things out there for us. So uh, I thought he had pretty good minutes. There were a couple of sequences um, from Aaron where he initiated or played even in half court sets or he played a transition as, as the point guard. Is that a function of Nicola not being there and just not playing through him? Or, I mean, you've talked about his versatility. Are you trying to empower him and, and you know, have him become more of that playmaker? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's in his arsenal. You know, I think that's, that's something that Aaron Gordon can do. You know, it's not something that, you know, we're looking to do, you know, all game. I mean, but when Aaron Gordon rebounds the ball, you know, our guards shouldn't be coming back looking for an outlet. They should be running the floor, running for layups, getting to the corners because we have two bigs and Aaron and Nicola uh, and even Jeff who are really good in terms of handling the ball, playmaking, making plays for their teammates. So, um, you know, we, we want to put the ball in Aaron's hands a little bit more, make him feel comfortable. Obviously, uh, when they started the game, Zubats was on him. We tried to get him on the perimeter, making plays, attacking the basket off the bounce. Uh, so you love Aaron's versatility, and now it's up to me to make sure we're utilizing everything he brings to the table. All right, go ahead, Derek. we got time for a couple on the Zoom. Go, Joel, Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Coach, good to see you. Uh, what did you think about the overall ball movement? You stressed that as a point of emphasis with Jokic out tonight. Uh, I thought it was probably uh, below average, you know, and that's probably being kind. <laughs> um, you know, we only had 20 assists, 14 turnovers. Uh, 20 assists is not a good number for us. We're a team that usually averages around 26, 27 assists per game. Um, and what happens a lot of times when you play against a team that is switching all over the floor, that leads to a lot of isolation, dribble happy, standing around watching basketball, which in my opinion is poor basketball, it's bad basketball. So even when teams are switching like that, you can still keep energy in the ball, get better ball movement, get better player movement. Uh, so yeah, I, I thought our ball movement tonight uh, was not where it needs to be, quite frankly. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Michael, Monte looked like himself with the uh, six to one assisted turnover ratio, but maybe not so much in the in the scoring aspect. I guess where would where would you say he's at right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're going to get that from Monte Vinny in terms of the high assist, low turnovers every night. Six to one obviously is a tremendous ratio. And that's who Monte has been since college. So that's not surprising. Obviously struggled to make shots tonight was 0-5 from the field. Um, and I'm sure that he'll, uh, he's a much better shooter than that. So he'll start to make shots. 
Um, my challenge to Monte Morris is, especially when Nicole is not playing, uh, to find a way to trust his voice, be more vocal, run his team, get us organized. Um, and I felt there are possessions tonight where that wasn't always the case. But again, I'm being overly critical. Uh, I do realize that this is just one preseason game uh, coming off of a week of practice in San Diego. So did some good things. I liked how he played in that second half. I do not like how we close the game. That group has to be a lot better. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you.